uh, 12 years. And, uh, and so he's converting uh, old motor oil or mixing it properly with, with diesel. And uh, it's been very successful for him. And he's got dealers out, there, even as far as Canada, that are doing the same thing. And he's got 169,000 miles on this, what, 2002? 2002. Uh, Dodge, and he came down here on mixed fuel from Rockford, Illinois. And it works just fine, and he claims it even gets better gas mileage, or better fuel mileage, better fuel mileage. Than, than what it would be if he just gassed up at the pump. So, uh, thank you, thank Rick. you for coming. Appreciate Thanks it. Give him a hand. Out. Thank you. Good morning, gentlemen. Um, I get winded sometimes, and I just go off the track um, a lot. We're going to try and keep it a little separate for the uh, video, and then we'll just get off into the other things. Uh, the first thing that I want to uh, talk about before we get into the uh, tank and the mixing and everything is your oil. Your condition of your oil is always the most uh, one of the most important things. The second important thing is the filtration that we run and have in the uh, unit. We'll pass this around so everybody can see what it is. That's the most important thing. Condition of the oil. If you pick up oil or you have oil on your farm and you got to shovel it into your tank, run from it. Just put the shovel down and just run from it. Just leave it alone. Back in the Midwest, we use that to burn in the shops, okay, instead of our vehicles. So it's costly on the, the pumps and injectors. That's what we use that for. Now, if it's been sitting, like Rick's got some here, the pumps won't pump it because it's still a little thick, but it's very usable. Just thin it out and your pump will start sucking it and transferring it out. Uh, what you'd like to do is use your fuel, your uh, motor oil as fast as you get it while it's still got the nice velocity in it where the pumps are going to filter, push it through the filters and everything. Alright, with that said, we're going to get started real quick. I, uh, I pre-filter all my oil. And uh, you get in touch with Rick. We got handouts here. They'll tell you a little where to get pumps and stuff like that. Um, you're looking at this tank here, and out uh, in the Midwest, when I show it, everybody says, "Hey, that's just a, a fertilizer sprayer, a weed sprayer." You're very correct. The um, Indians have a contract with the United States government that they sell to the Army and the United States Coast Guard. They have a unit that fits underneath the vehicle they're servicing. They'll drain the oil into that can. A pump will pump it into a device like this with the filtration system we have. And then once that's done, it pumps it right into the gas tank or diesel tank of that vehicle. They don't care if there's a quarter tank, half tank, full tank. If it's gonna take the oil, they put it right in there. They don't store any oil. Now the Indians are selling those from $5,000 to $8,000 a unit because they're fancy diamond plate. But once you open up that compartment, they have housing filters like I do. They have pumps like I do. And it's all enclosed in some fancy diamond plate. I could do that too. I'm keeping it. Keep it simple, stupid. I learned that in AA years back when I was young. Keep it simple, stupid, and it works. And it's cheaper. And it, it gets us to work. the bottom line where we need to be using this oil. Instead of selling it back in the Midwest, people are selling it back to processors for a dollar a gallon instead of using it for themselves at two dollars a gallon as fuel. Makes no sense. They're making $500 in their pocket when they could be saving themselves $1,000, $2,000 in fuel costs. So, the filters on this tank, in the whole housing, it's just a housing. We do not use filters from Home Depot or Lowe's. It looks the same. Theirs are wrapped. Ours are blown. It's one piece. It won't start unraveling. We'll send this around. You'll notice it's a one micrometer stamped on here. And it comes from a uh, filter manufacturer that makes them special for the uh, unit here. We also have 
a 10 micrometer rope design. Once again, it looks like Home Depot. It's made by the bio. This catches the sand, and you'll be changing this out more frequently than that one there. We change these out anywhere depending on the uh, oil you're using, how bad it is, how bad you got to filter it. 300 to 500 gallons, you'll change it out. Okay. You call us up, we, sh we ship them out to you. The more you buy, the cheaper it gets. You order one or two, they're $7 a piece. I believe that's in the uh, literature. If not, I apologize. <clears throat> You'll change this uh, filter out. In the bottom of this tank, there's a screen, one micrometer screen, on your tube to filter out any, any gunk that's gotten in there. It'll come through the pump, into the filter, and then filter right into your vehicle you're ready to use. What we're gonna what we do is we have two filters on each side of the tank. We put the, your oil in. This is a 30 gallon tank all the way up to the rim. Down here it's a 27 tank. Okay. So for all purposes, you'll put 10 gallons of diesel or 10 gallons of oil, 10 gallons of diesel. And this year we have a mixing unit on our pump so you could uh, mix it while you're, you're filling. You want to mix it up for 10 minutes, 5, 10 minutes, get all mixed up together. And then you'll be able, ready to turn off your valve here on the mixer, then it'll send it to the filter and out to your vehicle. So where did Rick go? He didn't think I was going to talk that fast today. <laughs> Yesterday I got a little winded. We'll uh, wait until Rick gets here so he can help me pour the diesel in here and we'll, we'll get uh, ready through the process. He's playing with the cookies. Hey Rick? Yes sir? I need your help sir. Okay. Um, you I can't... Volunteers right here? All these people want volunteers for you? 